Welcome back, watch fans, and thanks for watching another watch review by Todd's Watch Shop. I've got, I think, another Wenger, or maybe an Ingersoll. I have no idea, so we'll have to see. Yes, that is a M1 Garand uh, bayonet with the thing cut off. I uh, did one with Machete, because I know there's a lot of people doing uh, uh, watch reviews and unboxing with fancy knives, and somebody said, hey, after I did it with Machete, because I was kind of making fun of it, uh, somebody said, hey, why aren't you using M1 Garand? And I was like, you know what? It just so happens that I have one that I got from my grandfather, who was in World War II, so here you go. <laughs> there it is. I don't have any other knives. I'm not really a, not, uh, a knife guy. Um, I suppose if I wanted one, I'd probably get that Rambo one because that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have any pocket knives. I think I got a Swiss Army knife somewhere from when I was a kid. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Man, I love, really do like the Ingersoll boxes. They are so classy. So nice. Let's move all that stuff to the side. So, uh, honestly, I normally don't keep Ingersoll stuff. I mean, I normally don't keep watch stuff, but how can you throw this out? I mean, it's like I've got eight of these now. I mean, look at this. Solid wood. This is classy. Robert H. Ingersoll. True original. Oh. Very nice. Oh, it's not in any wrapping paper. They usually do that. What is this? I don't even know which one this is, but this looks really nice. The New England. Nice. Very cool. I used to live in New England. I lived in Massachusetts. All right, let's put this to the side and first take a look at some of the things in here. Silica gel. Always fun. Don't eat it. All right, you've got the... Uh, the plate that everybody likes to look at. Authenticity card. Two millimeters of pewter. Put that right there. Nice. And look at that. See all the new ones? They come with lifetime warranty. Pretty cool. This uh, instruction book literally has pretty much everything in here. Um, every single one of the watches from mechanical to automatic to, uh, oh, look, you know, I think somebody opened that. Maybe at least to look, because the watch normally comes in this, so I think somebody, uh, checked it out. But it still has the wrapping stuff on it. Alright, you know what, before we get in any real detail, let's watch a video on Ingersoll. I think you guys will like it.
All right, so now that you've seen that video, um, hopefully you're inspired. Um, <laughs> I think the part that I like the most about that video, other than the music and like, yeah, America, you know, um, industrial age. <laughs> I always like uh, the uh, picture where it shows the five people who made America. Uh, fun fact, I actually went to school with one of the one of those people's uh, grandkids. Um, so uh, maybe it was a grandkid or great grandkid i don't know but uh yeah i had a really nice yacht see if you can guess who it is <laughs> anyways um i've got a secret about this watch that i'm going to tell everybody but it's not going to be until after the movement video because i think it's really cool and i think you'll kind of uh figure it out by that point anyways so just in case i hadn't mentioned it, this is the new england can't remember exactly what i paid for it but i think i got a really really good deal and I have to say, this is a very high quality watch. Uh, and you will learn more about it after watching the video. Because um, it has to do with the type of movement inside. But this watch is spectacular. And uh, I'm a huge fan of this movement. Uh, it's a Ronda. Um, but honestly, the styling of this watch, just, just as it is, is, is spectacular. I mean, if you haven't seen my other videos on, on Ingersoll, it really is a spectacular brand. Uh, they took... Um, you know, it, it was a, a British company for a long time. Uh, it's now owned by uh, a Hong Kong company. As you, uh, I didn't mention that, but it's a Hong Kong company. But it was uh, British owned for a while. Of course, started in the United States. Uh, very vintage American brand. But they have really taken that company and turned it into something. I mean, these watches are spectacular. They really put in a lot of effort in these watches to make them look nice. And uh, I... I mean, I really can't say enough about them. I mean, these are spectacular. I mean, look at this. It's a very nice dial. It's very vintage looking. It's signed on the side. Signed uh, on the front, on the back. Signed on the strap. Signed on the deployment clasp. You know, I've heard somebody say that it's got... Um, it feels uh, the watch gives an air of insecurity because it's signed everywhere. I disagree. Uh, I think I'm proud of the fact that it says Ingersoll in there because I want people to know, hey... Look, this is a good American brand, even though it's not necessarily American anymore. Um, all right, before I get into any specifics, let's watch the movement video, and then you will understand why I'm excited, so excited about this particular one. The Ingersoll New England with sub-second uses the Ronda 6004.B movement. The 6004.B series caliber is a high-end, three-hand course rebuildable movement. These watch movements are available with Swiss made and Swiss parts designations. The 6004.B is primarily known for its use as a sub-second movement, and this is the configuration that it's found in within most watches. This movement is particularly well made and is found in several high-end quartz watches, including the entry-level Tag Heuer and others in the $300 to $1,500 range. There are two versions of this movement, the Swiss made and the Swiss parts version. The Swiss parts version is nickel plated with a single jewel supporting the seconds gear. This version will typically be labeled as such and would be constructed from parts produced by Ronda but assembled off site without Ronda's involvement. The Swiss made version will either state Swiss or Swiss R9 to represent Swiss made. The Swiss made version of this movement is gold coated and has five jewels supporting all the primary gears. This movement will have been assembled in house at the Ronda manufacturing facility and while made of higher quality gears, will also have slightly improved precision, leading to slightly better accuracy. The 6004.B movement takes a 373 battery cell, which supports a very powerful stepping motor like other Ronda movements. Battery life can be supported by up to 10 years with a hacking feature, but is rated for 40 months battery life with the watch in full operation. Quality of the movement is very decent for the cost, with a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 10 seconds per month for the Swiss made version. All right, so now you know, this watch basically has a Rolex movement in it. It's the Ronda 6004.D. And I double checked, uh, obviously you can, you saw the pictures, I'll put it up there again. Boom, right there. You'll see this is in fact um, a Swiss made one because it says Swiss, it says uh, Swiss R9. If it had said Swiss parts, it would have been uh, the parts version. So they literally took a Swiss made, uh, full Swiss made version of this movement and installed it in here. And anytime you see a sub second, 
There aren't too many movements that support that. And so Ingersoll was like, well, we're not going to get a cheap movement. Let's just go get the Swiss, uh, the Swiss made uh, Ronda one. Uh, and it's the same movement that is in uh, most of the three hand uh, Tag Heuer, Tissot, and uh, Tissot, uh, and other brands that, uh, that have the sub second. Uh, let's just get right into the measurements because I know everybody wants to see that. These are large watches, which I've always been a fan of personally. Okay, 44 millimeters uh, in, uh, in case size. No, right. 22 millimeters, it's a little bit off. It's it's really about 22 millimeters um, watch strap width. Case size is actually quite big. 15 millimeters. Now this is a mineral crystal. It's beveled, it's very nice, but uh, it is in fact uh, three layer coated with uh, sapphire. You can see a little bit of color difference. Ingersoll does that with all of theirs, as does Wenger. Very nice leather, uh, leather top, leather bottom. Um, so what is this alligator lizard? I'm not sure, but it is real. Uh, it's also leather on the bottom. Uh, I I really like their straps. Honestly, they're they're quite good. Uh, it's a deployment clasp, and uh, if you guys don't have any experience with these, you've never had them. If you don't really know how to use them, they can be frustrating. But once you understand how to use them, it makes it much easier. So pretend that's in there. Hit the button. Boom, and it goes in. And then the way you put it back in is you go like that, and then you go like that and lock it in, assuming that that was locked in there, and uh, you, you'd you be good. Um, this does have loom. Let's check it out. I don't think there's much to see here, but, but we'll look at it. Yep, so just the second hand. Not totally helpful, but that's okay. I don't suppose anybody's going to be doing any kind of, uh, I don't know, what, laser tag or, you know, anything in the dark really with this watch camping. Probably not. Um, it's got a nice jeweled end. I don't know what that is. Probably some glass, but but it's very nice. Let's see if you can. It's hard to see. Um, some other features about this. Uh, it is uh, 5 ATM, 5 bar. 50 meters. 50 meters is not bad. You can't go snorkeling with it. Um, I suppose you can go swimming with it. I'll put a chart right up there if I haven't already. Uh, I think 50 meters you can swim, but I do not recommend snorkeling. Obviously, I don't think this is a watch you typically take to go swimming, but um, this might be a watch that you would take uh, South Beach, especially if you were doing sort of cigar night, right? Me and my buddies, we always like to go to, uh, especially my um, my buddies in Doral, we would uh, go out to South Beach, smoke a cigar, have some cognac on, uh, you know, in front of the Clevelander or one of the old uh, Art Deco hotels. This would be cool. And then if you have too many cognac drinks, right, maybe some Grand Marnier or Louis XIII, uh, if you're so inclined, somebody pushes you in the pool, this is still okay. So, I don't know, can't say much about the watch strap, though. There's a lot of bleach in those, uh, uh, sorry, a lot of chlorine in those pools. But either way, um, I've got big wrists, so you can kind of see it is 44 millimeters, but it sits nice. Uh, I really like it. Very classy look. Um, this goes nice, especially if you have shoes this color. Super awesome. I really can't say enough about this watch. Um, what am I missing here? I've done all the measurements. I've given my opinion. Stainless steel case, um, polished. It's spectacular watch. I'm a huge fan of Ingersoll. I get so excited every time I get one, and I'm having a hard time because I keep collecting them, and I know I need to sell some of them, um, but I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> so, and I don't think I'm going to sell this one, but I think I may keep this one, and I think my uh, my um, Vanger is going to have to go. You know, what? I'll show you real quick the Vanger. If I can find it, I have a Wenger that has, yep, same movement in it, Swiss brand. This one I think I'm going to have to put up, but you'll notice the distance. It's all exactly the same. So these are the same movements, the Ronda 6004.D. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like. If you hated it, please also leave a like just to really show me. 
Um, if you have any comments or any other watch recommendations, uh, I know there's still a couple that I ordered. Um, I ordered one from a guy in Italy, still coming. It's going to be a while. Um, but uh, any comments about this watch or any other recommendations, leave it below. And uh, please subscribe. really helps me out. Thank you very much.